So we have here the Nismo Skyline, the new Nismo Skyline. A lot of people give it hate because it's not a GTR, but let's not forget that the GTR name was added to the Skyline brand. It is a really good looking car. I like the um, GT badge there, just after the front wheel. Nice uh, nod to its heritage. I think the back end looks real good as well. Even the Nismo badging there and almost like a, a racing, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but like a racing fog light. That's really cool. Prince Skyline GT. This is kind of what started it all really. Really well uh, looked after by the looks of it. Very clean. Has that same GT badge that the new Skyline this one has. Interior is pretty uh, cool, stripped out, but still retains kind of like the half back seats. Nice uh, leather seats there, roll cage, taco, I'm assuming, on the dash. A lot of you will uh, be familiar with this Calsonic R32 GTR. I love those side exits and those wheels are cool as well. Of course, it has that mad front camber. Not sure what that is, but that's got to be like negative three or four degrees by the looks of it. Mad. It's also interesting how high the ride height is. That is really high. Yet yeah, the uh, arches are totally filled. <laughs> You can see the air jacks there inside, just at the bottom edge of the door. Very cool. Oh, it makes me want to get R32 as well. I wonder if Karen will let me. It's interesting that they've welded up the um, fuel cap curl point. I know they have the uh, quick fuel points in the back. There, but I've welded it up. I'm not sure why they do that. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek under there. And of course, the latest R35 GTR. I must say, these colours. Um, I'm not sure what kind of grey blue that is, but it really does suit it. And of course, 400 seat beside it as well. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Such a nice car, though. One day, guys, one day. Break the wrong point. Like those wheels as well. Back end looks good as well. 
very cool. I've got the same kind of um, racing wipe that the uh, Nismo Skyline has there. That's cool. I didn't know that. And so does this actually. I didn't know it's that cool. That's cool. Nice bit of incorporation. I do like these uh, 400Zs. This of course being the Nismo edition. Again, brakes are looking good. The colour looks awesome. Nice little display for you, those of you who are Comica fans. Some cool GTRs there. I like those garage pits as well. Very cool. Some cool Nismo parts for sale. Very cool. And of course they have lots of other cars in the showroom, pretty much all their models, which is very cool to see. This is another cool thing they have, it's the um, drivetrain and engine of the R35 GTR, without everything else on top of it. It's pretty cool to see, not a lot of people know that the gearbox is at the back of the R35, and then it transfers the power back to the front. Very cool. And of course we have a R35 and a 400Z or Fair Lady Z as it's known in the Japan. This is the T-Spec which is very rare if you didn't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's limited to this colour because this colour is limited to the T-Spec only. Very cool. Can you tell me what's different about this R33 GTR? It is the full doors. Uh, this is the 40th anniversary model. Uh, it'd be called the daily one of these. I'd be interested to see if it feels like uh, just a normal GTR R33. Very cool interior. Slightly biased, of course. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to see that the uh, rear seats are actually a bit more steep compared to what's in mine. Um, and I feel like there may be a little bit more legroom, but that could just be an optical illusion. Interesting that it had no rear wing on it. This is the current Skyline model. Um, I really do like the colour of this. It almost gives me a hint of midnight purple. And I dare say it might well be. Very cool. So, tell me guys, are you a fan of the new Fair Lady? And are you a fan of it in yellow? Another cool display they have is of all the badges they've had through time. We may have done a purchase from the store. I'll show you guys later what I got. Lila and Karen have been chilling out over here. Karen's looking very tired and jet lagged. Mama. Still sleeping. Secret. Secret. 
No peeking. <laughs> <laughs> In this and HU. It's cool, like, I can't show it, but they have a big screen behind the uh, Nismo skyline showing the Super GT, so you can just turn up and watch it if you want. Also, behind there, in a separate private cinema room, I think you can book and also watch the Super GT event, uh, which is pretty cool. Would love to do that sometime. But yeah, very cool. Let's go. Ha, <laughs> Pause and read. Yeah, love this guy. I've seen it before at the um, HQ and Heritage Centre, but it looks so cool like, in person. The wide body is really, really nice. Wheels are cool as well. special event with this Bluebird 1200 Fancy Deluxe. Um, we have to answer these questions. But here is the car they're talking about themselves. Quite cool. So from these questions, this second one, it actually has a high heel stand, an umbrella stand, and a uh, uh, single flower there. So I can see the shoe stand just there on the inside. An umbrella stand you can see on the uh, B pillar there. Kind of the wooden lip. I'm not sure where the. Ah, in fact, it's beautiful passenger side. I'm not sure if you can see that. You can actually see the uh, high heel <laughs> shoe stand there. So I've successfully located the flower vase just on the V pillar. Yeah. Quite an interesting concept. But yeah, it's quite cool. That's some fair lady, 1500 here. Some more specifications. Very cool car. I like the uh, roll bar. Or on cage. <laughs> so they also have this cool Pathfinder concept on display. Quite cool, they're big wheels on there. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. I quite like the front end with those lights. That's really cool. They have this beautiful R35 GTR in the kind of the base eye blue colour. Looks so good. So we've been 
finished in uh, Nissan Crossing now. We're now heading back to the airport to see our friends and then off to Toyama. <laughs> see you in a bit. and we are now back in the airport. We're now about to fly to Toyama. I haven't filmed a great deal in the afternoon. We've just seen some friends, hung out with them. Yeah, really nice people. So, probably call it for this episode. As soon as it's getting late now, it's almost 7 p.m. And yeah, don't forget to give a thumbs up and a like if you liked the um, Nissan headquarters and Nissan crossing. Looks like Violet did. She's very tired. A little bit jet lag still, I think. So, yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye.